Assalamu alaikum. Good morning. How are you today, everyone? I hope you're doing well. It's math class, and today we have a new lesson. It means you need to focus and listen carefully. Okay, so before starting the lesson, let's read the day and date. So I need your help to read the day and date. I'm going to help you. Yesterday was Monday. So what day comes after Monday? Tuesday. Tuesday, right? And the date is May 19, 2020. Well done. So everyone get your math book because we're going to use it today. And every time we have a math class, we need to use it, right, everyone? Okay, so grab some pencils too because you are gonna write or solve some questions. So here we go, let's get started. So everyone, I want you to be ready. Put your hands in the air, put your hands up and shout. It's math class. Great, everyone. Okay, so the title of the lesson is AM and PM. So, what does this mean? Do you think that we are going to talk about time? Because in the previous lessons we have learned about time to the hour time to the half hour and time to the quarter hour and yesterday we learned about time to five minutes intervals right everyone so today i'd like to say that our lesson will be about time but we're gonna learn something useful so the lesson of today will help you to tell the time correctly during daytime and night time so look at these pictures everyone i'm gonna give you some time okay so it's sitting here wake up and then 9 a.m and over here it's night time right night time because as you can see the moon and it's written 9 p.m so let's learn today how to read the time during daytime and night time and here we go my lovely and smart students let's read the objectives together so by the end of the lesson you will be able to use am and pm when telling and writing time looks great so be ready to learn and explore new things and mental math time so every time we have mental math miss wuna says to you you need to take your time and think carefully to avoid any mistake it's okay to make mistakes sometimes but you need to learn from your mistakes right everyone okay so we have a problem here so when we have a problem we need to think about it and to find a solution right and yesterday in the English lesson the art project we talked about the meaning of the word problem right and here is a problem so let's read it together and remember the strategies we uh, used to follow before you need to understand so circle what do you know and what do you need to find plan 
you need to plan and decide what you are going to do you're gonna minus you're gonna add and finally check your answer so let's read the question I'm gonna change the names I would say Omar has two cats Ali has two cats Saeed has three cats how many cats do they have all together Wow it's super easy right so what we are going to do is to circle what do we know so we said Omar has two cats and Ali has two cats and Saeed has three cats how many cats do they have all together so what we are going to do subtract no we're gonna add because it's it's written here all together so we need to find the total so we're gonna write two plus two plus three so who's gonna help me to answer the question I'm gonna give you some time think about it add the numbers together so what is the answer who can answer the question me what is the answer seven it's seven the answer is seven correct and here's a video about a.m. and p.m. watch the video everyone listen carefully Pay attention and we'll get yeah. And here is the problem of the day. I want you to draw the hands to show the time. Okay? So 6, 10 and 4.35. I'm going to give you some time to think about these two questions. Okay, so what you are going to do first is to write the minutes. I want you to skip count by fives and to write the minutes around and then draw the two hands and remember there are two hands, one of them short and the short one is for the or for, sorry for the hours and the long one is for the minutes. okay? So let's do this together. So you need to write the minutes here five and here ten. Wow, it's super easy. So the the long one. Oh, let's start with the short one. Okay, so the short one will point to number six, and the long one will point to number two, which means. 10 minutes let's go to this one okay I want you to think about this one and to do it by yourself so the hours from midnight until noon are labeled a.m. and the hours from noon until midnight are labeled p.m. so everyone I have some questions and I want you to think about it first of all what would you put your pajamas on during the day or at night so when do you wear your pajamas everyone do you wear it during the day or at night at night correct and would you eat lunch during the day lunch yeah or at night correct during the day so everyone let's think about some activities that you do during the day when I say during the day when the Sun is in the sky and think about some activities that you do during the night when I say night I mean here 
when the moon is in the sky so usually or let's say during the day people go to work eat their lunch also they can visit each other but during the night time you wear your pyjama you eat your dinner and also you sleep so what I want you to do right now is to open page 625 and to draw things that you usually do in the morning and other things that you usually do during midnight and I'm gonna tell you why I asked you to do this so now let's draw some things that you usually do in the morning so let's say in the morning you go to school right this is the school so in the morning you go to school what else everyone we eat breakfast you eat your breakfast i think there are a lot of things to do during the day right and now let's draw some activities or things that you usually do at night so let's say this is the bed and you usually sleep during night time right okay so everyone i want to say that the activities that you usually do in the first part of the day let's say it goes from midnight to noon it's morning okay so we call the time between midnight and noon a.m okay so i'm gonna show you something over here so everyone what i want you to do now is to remember your daily routine when you go to school let's say uh, usually you wake up around 6 o'clock and then you go to school around 7 o'clock you attend the assembly or the morning assembly around 7 30 and then the classes will start let's let's say from 8 to 9 it's english class and from 9 to 10 uh it's math class and from 10 30 to uh sorry from 10 to 10 30 it's breakfast time and from 10 30 to 11 let's say it's um pe class and from 11 to 12 let's say it's uh, arabic class okay everyone so this is the first part of the day so i'm i'm talking about the things that you usually do in the first part of the day so so everyone if you are gonna read the time during the first part of the day you're gonna read it in this way let's say you're gonna wake up around 6 a.m. then you will go to school around 7 a.m. then the English class let's say will start around 8 a.m. and so on okay everyone so here we're gonna add a m after that let's say here's the middle of the day here's the middle of the day after the middle of the day let's say from 12 to 1 you have a PE class and from 1 to 2 you're gonna prepare yourself to go home from 2 to 3 you're gonna eat your uh, lunch and then from 3 to 4 you're gonna do your homework and so on here what we're going to do is to use p.m. when we read the time so we're going to say it's 1 p.m. it's 2 p.m. 3 p.m. and so on and we're going to continue using p.m. till 12 midnight so any activity that you're going to do during this time we're going to say or let's say something else we're going to use pm when we read the time during this this period of time okay so after that let's say you're going to do your homework and um you will eat your dinner you will wear your pajama and then sleep 
Also, we are gonna continue. We are gonna continue using PM during this period of time till 12 midnight. In this time, you will be sleeping. So we're gonna continue using PM. After that, after 12 midnight, okay, you are gonna use AM again from midnight till the middle of the day or let's say a noon time okay everyone uh, don't worry i know it's a little bit hard but tomorrow we have part two and we're gonna continue explaining and talking about when to use am and pm when you read or tell the time and here we go everyone as you can see there are three questions you need to solve them. I'm going to do the first one and then you will do number two and three by yourself, okay? So open page 626. So till what time? Okay. And I want you to circle after that AM or PM. Okay, look at the first one. So art class art class you are in the school and it's art class and it's the first part of the day okay so what time is it everyone it's a.m yeah a.m excellent but let's read the time first so look at the short one the short one points to 10 so it's 10 it's 10 o'clock and yeah because also, the minute hand is pointing to 12, and 12 means zero minutes. Zero minutes. And after that, we're gonna choose AM because this activity, let's say, is conducted at the first part of the day. First part of the day. So, when do you go to bed and when you play? after school so read the time and then choose a.m. or p.m. so thank you everyone for listening have a great day see you tomorrow and tomorrow as i said to you so far we're gonna explain and talk more about when to use a.m. and p.m. when telling the time